cool. Uh. <laughs> Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We're with Lucy and Lauren at Lauren's house. Having a nice day in the sun. Lunch. <laughs> I like your smile. Yeah, that's your mom. Lauren has us a little dip party. She's making me a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a good summer day. Oh, thank you. Uh oh, there you go. We got our uh, our binky inspiration from Lucy. She's the the original, and we love this binky, right? Are you gonna take a nap? streets are full of Cubbies fans and that's just such a fun feeling. Look who's home. I miss them all day. He's sleepy over there. And hello guys. So I, I, didn't, I didn't, I meant to vlog today while I was home, but I actually had a pretty busy day. Lots of meetings today. Lots of meetings tomorrow. Thursday is eh, Friday right now is looking better. Um, busy's good though, right? This is good, uh, but it was just like, go, go, go. So I'm ready to hang out with my friends, not their back, because I missed them all day. We are home. Um, I had a little bit of an allergic reaction to uh, the kitty cats there, but hopefully it's not itchy or anything. I think my eyes are just red. Um, we are home, we had such a good day. It's funny, me and Lauren were talking how we have never really seen each other much during the summer. We became friends like 12 years ago to this month. We met in college in 2010 um, and we really knew each other at school. She lived on the far north side and I lived on the far south side. So like we really saw each other more so at school during the school year. And then when we lived in Florida, we'd usually be in for the holidays. Um, and so we typically see her in the cold months. Um, obviously we'd come here when it when it wasn't winter, but you know, not every single trip did we were we able to make it happen again. They live far north. Um, so it was like weird to be together in the summer and it was a lot of fun. Um, Peter cooked up some bacon for BLTs for dinner and I am going to make some pesto real quick. Um, and I'll show you what I use. Packed it with basil, going to add a lot of olive oil, a good helping of minced garlic. I usually would use lemon juice, but I just have lime. So we do lime juice and Parmesan cheese. Alrighty, here is our pesto. It was a little on the, like heavy on the lime side. I either shouldn't have used that at all or used too much. So I balanced it out um, with a little bit more cheese, a little bit more basil. So that just like the ratio was different. So I made more than I expected, but I had it. So I also um, did add Romano cheese. Romano and Parmesan go great together, as well as salt, pepper, and a little bit more garlic, just to get that savoriness back. I'm gonna start our toast. 
and Peter already chopped up the tomatoes, so we'll be ready to go. Thank you. Nice, Teddy's hanging out with us in the tent, relaxing in his relaxing tent. James, did you know there's a whole new season of Bluey coming to Disney Plus tomorrow? Did you know? Picasso over here. Just hanging out. Yeah. I got my sous chef with me. Got some Justin Bieber hair going on. We're plating up our BLTs. We spread pesto on the bottom layer. Let's see if I could do this one-handed. We'll do a little bit of lettuce. They go tomato on top and bread. Nice. Jamesy loved his deconstructed BLT. It's festival of the arts or something. Got pesto bites, bacon. He already ate all the tomato. A little mango on the side. Potatoes on the side. Mmm. All right. Look at look at these friends over here. The Sicards uh, purchased the new Minions movie, Rise of Gru. So we're playing it for the first time. I'm going to go on a run in like 45 minutes after I digest some of this dinner because it's glorious outside. I could eat a BLT every day. I could eat three BLTs every day. All right, let's go for an evening run. It's like high 60s. Gorgeous. Wonder if there's going to be a breeze on the lake. Me and James are going to do some coloring while Peter's on the run. We've been doing this thing where I draw him stars and then he colors on top of them. So that's pretty fun. Look at that golden hour over there at the skyline. Stinking gorgeous, huh? Today's run is due, sponsored by Sarah Brookhart. She was like, hey, go on and run before the sun goes down. And I was like, hey, okay, it's gorgeous out. So out getting some time on the feet. Call my buddy Steve from Tampa, if you remember that guy, talking to him today. And he was like, hey man, just get time on the feet between now and Chicago Marathon. I think I could do a little bit more than that, but we're gonna, I'm not gonna jump the gun, don't wanna get injured, but yeah. But right now the focus is time, consistent time on the feet. I truly think that'll become easier in nine days when our Peloton is delivered, because I know Sarah's gonna hop on that thing and be on that thing near daily. And that'll be enough to be like, hey, challenge accepted. If you're going to the Peloton, I'm going for a run. Not at the same time, obviously. The kids take care of. But that'll be a fun new um, adventure two best friends go on. So pretty exciting. So I've now rested off this, this ramble here enough. I got to get back on, start my Strava back up and get running. Feels good. So laced up and got, got out. You know, it feels good. What was the greatest news you received today? We were having BLTs for dinner. No! Andrew McMahon is coming to Chicago for his annual fundraising event, which he performs Constantine at, so we have to go. It's on 11-11. Yeah, so every year, Andrew has a big fundraising event for... I don't know, is it called, I think it's adolescent cancer. So Andrew battled cancer when he was like in between a kid and an adult. And he found that like there was a lot of struggle to kind of like get the help he needed because it was kind of this gray area. Like he wasn't being treated as a child, but he wasn't fully an adult either. Um, and so he has a Dear, da Dear Jack Foundation. I'm starting, I'm starting bathwater for James. Um, yeah, so Andrew's just an incredible advocate for um, cancer and every year on 11-11, he has a big event and it's in different cities every year. And we were really hoping to go this year, but then we decided we weren't gonna do any more traveling. Um, and so we hadn't heard where it was gonna be, but we knew that we weren't going to travel this year, even though we had initially said that this was our year. And then it was announced today that it's in Chicago at the House of Blues. Um, 
So we're pumped and tickets are sold on Friday. And if anyone wants to go, I'll put the link in the description um, because it's a big fundraising event. You might even just be able to donate, like even if you aren't buying tickets to the actual concert. Um, and we'll be there. So if any of you go, then we can meet up. And just another way that we can try to put a dent in fighting cancer and awareness and all of that. So we're very excited today to hear that news. <laughs> My hair is crazy. Um, also, if you didn't know what Peter was talking about in that first clip, he mentioned the song Constantine. Constantine is a song that is from Andrew's something corporate days. It's a nine minute song. It's Peter and I's song. It's the sheet music that is up in our family room. Um, it's nine minutes. He doesn't play it in normal performances. Every once in a while, he'll play it here and there. He played a few lines of it at one of the concerts we've been at. I love you. Yes, I, you, have a, you have a standing invitation to that. I do a benefit show on 11 11 every single year. Woo! I'll play it in its entirety for you, I promise. We're going to give you. Here, just, here, take your phone out. Take your phone out. Just get it. Quickly. Just get it out. I'm going to give you, like. Don't, don't hit record yet. We're going to pretend that I'm playing it tonight. Okay? <laughs> We don't have much room. Can you guys believe I did a 25 minute version of Constantine? And it was just crazy. As soon as anybody needs it. Because we won't leave it alone. So let it. but just as like a little gimmick to be like, he played it. But at these events, he always plays it. So we're gonna get to see Constantine alive. And that is like something we don't know, we didn't know if we'd ever see. I'm dedicating a day to you. Domestic life was never quite my style. You smile. When I fall apart, I thought I was so smart. You will come of age with our young nation. We'll bleed and fight for you. We'll make it right for you. I will never get over the fact about how accessible things are in cities. It's not a big deal for me to run to Jewel at 10.30 at night and pick up dishwash, dish detergent, and some Claritin, and maybe a bag of chips. I bought more than I was supposed to. No spend August. It's kind of necessities. Kind of? Chips, Red Bull, Claritin. That's a necessity. Dish detergent. That's a necessity. Fall candle. It smells like apples. So as Peter mentioned, a new season of Bluey comes out. Tomorrow it's midnight, but it typically comes out at midnight West Coast time. Still not out. Should we stay awake? I still haven't booked James my haircut, but I, I promise I will soon. Tomorrow, while you're watching Bluey, I have it's five it's not, it's straight not hours of movies. I thought it was five meetings. I don't know. Five straight five. hours. I might get out of one of them. Hopefully, our children don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> we think they will manage that pretty good. Yeah. It's good to be home. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at 
Walt Disney Productions.